Why is my computer slow after startup? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. If you find these videos helpful, be sure and hit the subscribe button down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Hit the thumbs up button if you find this particular video helpful. That all helps other people find the answers they're looking for when they're searching online. Here's the question. Faster warm up. I searched your articles, but maybe didn't use the best terms. I have several registry programs like Registry Mechanic, CCleaner, and tried others and run them often. I also do a disk cleanup often and defragment whenever it says I need to. I do several other things such as clear history, cookies, and files whenever I can think of, but none of it seems to make much difference. After about 30 minutes, the computer begins working at a decent speed, but initially it's just dead in the water. I might as well take a shower and have breakfast. I know this is common, but is there anything else that I might try to speed things up? My approach? I'd go make coffee. There are things that we can look at besides just waiting for the computer to be ready for us, if you will. But as you said, this is a very common phenomenon. The good news is that many of the culprits are well known. The scenario is simply this. You sign into your computer first thing in the morning, and it's really slow for a while. There are a few things. Number one on the list in my experience, your security software. There's a very good chance that your security software is in the process of performing a full scan of your hard disk to scan for malicious software. This is something that they tend to do on a regular schedule. Not only do they scan individual files and downloads and whatever else might be going on as it happens, but every so often they run a scheduled scan of, if not your entire hard disk, at least some significant portions of it that are the ones most likely to actually have malicious software, if there's any on your machine. That can take time. And because it's potentially hitting your hard disk so hard, it is something that could impact your performance. So what do you do about it? Well, there are a couple of solutions, some of which aren't necessarily practical depending on the software that you're running. If you have the option, simply schedule the full scan to explicitly happen at another time of day when you know you're not going to be using your computer as heavily. For example, you might schedule it during your lunch break, or you might schedule it during dinner. Or if you've got the option and you know how this happens, if it has the option of shutting down after the scan, have it be the last thing that happens at the end of the day. Now, the other solution, and quite honestly, the solution that I apply, is to leave the machine running 24 hours a day. That way, things like this, and there will be more of them here in a minute, can all run at night when they don't impact your performance. It means, in fact, that you never really, quote unquote, log into your machine. My machine is logged in all day long. But the bottom line is that these kind of scanning and other resource intensive processes can all happen at night when it doesn't really matter. Number two on the list, backups. Good on you for doing a backup. Honestly, it really is great if that's what's slowing down your machine when you log in. This is something that actually does happen to me from time to time, particularly when I'm traveling or when I'm using my laptop, because the laptop may not be on 24 seven, depending on how I'm using it at the time. It's very possible that a missed backup could be one of the first things it tries to do after I sign in. Once again, this is something that, in my case at least, reads my entire hard disk and writes to an external drive and takes some time to do so. That can impact performance of the machine. The solution, same as before, schedule it at a time when you're not likely to be using the machine heavily yourself. Schedule it at the end of the day, especially if the backup program gives you the option to turn the machine off when it's done and many more do than do anti-malware tools. Or once again, leave the machine running all the time. That's what I do with my desktop. It backs up in the middle of the night when I don't care. Another one that actually does surprisingly impact people as much, if not more than the preceding two, 
The Content Indexing Service. Windows Search uses an index of the things on your machine to speed up its ability to respond to the things you're looking for. Building that index involves reading all the files and understanding what's inside of them, and then actually writing an optimized index that makes its searching easier. That once again can take time, and it's not terribly uncommon for that process to run right after you log in. Now, this is one that you probably don't have the option of actually scheduling. So there really isn't a whole lot you can do about it other than potentially reduce the amount of files or the number of files that you might want it to have available in your search. Or once again, keep the machine running 24 seven. Now, there are potentially other services that start up when you log into your machine. Certainly, all of the various things that show up in the notification area of your taskbar all probably reflect some software that either comes with your machine or was installed on your machine and is electing to run at startup. Most of the time, those actually appear fairly quickly. But sometimes they can take some time before they've done whatever it is they're trying to do. The only real solution there is for you to carefully review all of the things that are running on startup and decide whether or not you really need them to. You can uninstall the app, look for options in the app, or use Task Manager's startup tab to potentially disable them from automatically starting up every time you log in. Now, the bottom line here is that there's only so much you can do. I know that when I reboot my machine, which happens say after a Windows update, even though I leave my machine running 24 seven, sometimes I will proactively take a reboot in order to take the most recent update to Windows. And indeed, I go get coffee. I just do. It's so much less frustrating than sitting there twiddling my thumbs, waiting for my machine to come up to speed. As you can imagine, I run a fair amount of software, and even though it's a beefy machine, it still takes a good, I'll say, five minutes before everything has settled and it's really, really ready for me to use at full speed. So the other solution, to the extent that you have it available to you, is to bring patience to the table and let the computer come up and finish what it needs to do when it starts. For the original article on which this video is based, for related links, for updates, for comments, visit askleo.com slash 4778. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.